Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought we would just do a chill kind of like vanity tour because I personally love these videos. I watch them all the time on YouTube. I love being nosy and seeing what people have in their vanity. I am probably gonna update this within the next, I would say like two months, but I wanted to show you guys what it looks like now. We can do a vanity tour after I've swapped out more of my dry skin weather things because for me, I know we're in spring and it's a little bit warmer, but I'm still dry. So so I still use a lot of heavier products to help hydrate my dry sensitive skin, which you will see. But then in the summer, I definitely have more combo leaning dry skin. So we'll do a vanity tour now, a vanity tour later, just to give you guys a little bit more content. So this vanity, I actually bought, I think off of Wayfair. And I think I bought it like five months ago. Mike and I put it together. The reviews on this vanity said that it didn't take a long time to put together, but it took us like two hours to put it together. It was grueling. The drawer kind of sucks. Like it's loud. It gets stuck all the time. I'm gonna show you guys what's in my drawer. I'm gonna show you guys what's on top of my vanity. Make sure that you subscribe and click the bell next to it. This way you get a notification every time I'm uploading a new video here on my channel. I feel like I have a ton of makeup. Nobody needs this much makeup. And I am gonna be uploading a what my collection would look like if I just had one of everything. So stay tuned for that. But nobody needs this much makeup. You know, I am a professional makeup artist. I do have a lot of makeup. I like testing trying reviewing for you guys a lot of companies do send me makeup i have to say like the last year i didn't spend a lot of money on makeup but nevertheless you don't need this much this is ridiculous this is my main drawer this is the only drawer within this vanity set so i kind of bought these little plastic things off of amazon i will link them down below so if anything should spill god forbid it doesn't ruin my vanity this is a skinnier drawer because two big ones and a skinny one fit. This is a main drawer and it is divided into two. So this half and then this half. So let's go ahead and let's just start with the stuff in this drawer. A color corrector, always necessary. This is my personal color corrector. I've used so many times, which you would never be able to tell because it still looks pretty full. These are really creamy. I love this one. You guys have seen this before if you've watched my YouTube channel, but this is the JCAT Color Corrector Quad and it comes with a yellow, an orange, a green, and a purple, and it's just perfect for on the go. Perfect pout lip scrub. Scrub it on your lips, makes them nice and smooth. This is for underneath your eyes. This is from Becca. So get your hands on it now because Becca is going out of business. But if you guys watch my under eye correcting, you know, dark circle correcting video, this was the product that I use. It's just a really creamy kind of under eye brightening dark circle correcting thing. I've also had this forever and used it a million times and it lasts a lifetime. MAC Painterly Paint Pot. This is just an eyeshadow primer. I want to try different colors, but this also lasts a really freakishly long time. So I don't know if I'm ever going to go through this. Water cream. I really absolutely love this. It's super light on the skin. If you have oily skin, dry skin, any kind of skin, you will really love this. My skin just like sucks it up and absorbs it. This is the trial size. I will definitely buy the full size when I run out of this, but I have a lot of face creams, which you're going to see in a second. Tarte Maracuj Oil, which I have had for a lifetime. It's great for underneath your makeup. Clean Slate Primer. This is really perfect for filling your pores. It has like a putty kind of consistency, but it packs into your pores so that you don't see those little small holes around your nose. This is a powder foundation for days where I just need a little extra coverage. I don't like a powder foundation because I have very dry skin, but I haven't really been loving my concealers, which you guys know. And on days where like my under eye dark circles are just on fleek and I need a little bit more coverage, I will use this to set my under eyes. And I also will powder around my mouth on those days where my mouth is really really red because this will set any kind of cream product but give it a little bit more coverage and loose and setting powder love this don't need to talk about this you guys have heard about this so many times no pore bloom priming water by touch and soul your pores will be on fleek this is not a pore filling pore covering it's just like the tarte maracuj oil honestly but in a primer form really rich cream this is the original rich cream it's kind of like a lotion that has the consistency of an oil it's really beautiful great for those of you with dry skin especially in the winter milk hydro grip primer this is kind of a summer spring kind of staple this is to make sure that my makeup stays in place doesn't budge especially when i get a little bit oily that is it for this drawer
front of this drawer, I have this Lorac Los Angeles eyeshadow palette that has been discontinued forever, but I just love this palette so, so much. So I like to leave it in here, especially on days where I'm wearing like a pink kind of outfit. This is my go-to, the Hot Toddy eyeshadow. My Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. This is just gonna give your skin a really nice glow, kind of like a dewy glow from within minus the dewy slick, you know, cause it's a powder. My everyday go-to is it's the Murad Resurgence Rapid Collagen Serum and then the Murad Hydration Perfecting Day Cream with SPF 30 to help hydrate my skin and keep it protected from the sun. I really need to finish this up. This is really overrated, I think, in my personal opinion. Age Reverse Day Repair Sunscreen, SPF 30. This is really, really expensive. I wear this on days where I'm not wearing any makeup because this little guy pills underneath all of my foundations. It feels really nice on the skin. It's really lightweight and super comfortable, but not good for when you're wearing makeup. This is definitely a thinner formulation than the one that comes in the blue bottle. So this is definitely a thinner formulation than this one. This one sits better under makeup as well, but it's not my favorite SPF to sit under makeup. My favorite SPF for underneath makeup, definitely the Murad one that I mentioned, but also the Neutrogena Visibly Even, which is also a really affordable drugstore option. Love this, super lightweight and has an SPF of 30. Drunk Elephant Debronzy Anti-Pollution Sunshine Drops. I like to mix this in with my foundation to make my foundation a little bit darker so that my winter foundations match my face in the summer. Yensa Sunlit Glow Bronzer. You guys know I love this cream bronzer. Oh my God. It is so amazing. It reminds me of the Chanel Soleil de Tan. A lot less expensive, just as creamy, just as beautiful. I absolutely love this. Powder bronzer underneath it because I like to set cream bronzer with powder bronzer. You guys know if you watch my channel, but this was discontinued. This is the BH Cosmetics Golden Gal Bronzer. This is my favorite lip gloss. This is by Lorac in the shade Mademoiselle. I think they still sell this. If they do, I will make a note of it down below, but this is so freaking good. It's like the perfect peachy baby pink shade. This is just a red tinted lip balm. You guys have seen me use this and it has an SPF of 15 in it. It's kind of more orangey than red in my opinion. So I think the packaging is a little misleading. These are products that I haven't opened. I don't know, I haven't used these so I can't talk about them, but I just keep them in here. I have my three little Pat McGrath mini lipsticks right here. I'm wearing the shade Obsessed today. Do not recommend these because they are the cheapest, crappiest minis. Like literally the lipstick falls out of the tube, super cheap, not a fan. MAC does mini lipsticks right. No offense, Pat, love you girl, but your mini lipsticks are cheap AF. These are like little glitter lip toppers. I have never used these just to give you like a little bit of gleam, a little bit of light, super, super pretty. Huda Beauty, her Demi Matte, which you guys know I love in the shade Game Changer. I haven't opened this yet. This is definitely a really beautiful summer shade though. It's kind of like a gorgeous purple. So I'm sure I will open this soon. some Ardell lashes that I've used a few times, but you know, they're still good, so I'm still gonna use them. These are the Naked Lashes in 422. I have an iPod. I don't know if you can see, cause I'm having zooming issues here, but it says Big Cat on the back of this. I bought this for Mike for Christmas, like why, I think the first or second year we were dating and he never used it. So he re-gifted this to me and you're probably thinking, bitch, what do we need an iPod for? But I film a lot of my videos using my phone, so it comes in handy because I can film a video and listen to music on my iPod in the background. So this is just in here for when I do my makeup because I actually use this a lot, honestly. So I'm glad I bought this for him to essentially buy for myself. And then my most used drawer because this contains my brows. And I think if I do any kind of makeup, like my brows are pretty much a staple, whether I'm wearing a full face, no face, you know, that kind of thing. So I have quite a few brow gels. Essence Make Me Brows, Shade Brownie Brow. So this is for darker brows and these have filling fibers in it. So it's gonna lift your brows up, keep them lifted in place. It's gonna tint them. So it's gonna fill them in a little bit. If you're sparse, it'll help to make them a little bit more fuller. If you have very, very sparse brows, I would not recommend this. You're really gonna need to go in with a pencil like this. This is the Joa Precision Brow Pencil, which is my favorite brow pencil at the moment. This is really good for those of 
you who have a little bit of sparsity, but more so larger, fuller brows. A lot of the time when I fill my brows in and then throw an Essence Make Me Brow on top, I will go ahead and use this shade, Soft Brownie Brows, and it kind of just takes the darker pencil, throws a lighter kind of brow gel over it and gives your brows a little bit more dimension to make them look a little bit more natural. I definitely use a clear brow gel most of the time. I like to fill my brows in with a pencil like this and then go over with a clear brow gel, but I also have the Wander Beauty one, which is literally like hairspray in a bottle. Your brows will stay up and lifted the entire day. I cannot do my brows without using this Duo Billion Dollar Brows Brow Duo Brow Pencil with a concealer and a highlighter. I literally Literally fill my brows in and then use these crayons to help clean up around my brow. It's so freaking good. Ciate Triple Shot XXL Mascara. This is the weirdest mascara because when I opened it, I like loved it. And when does that happen? I feel like we love a mascara as it dries out a little bit. It was so much better when I first opened it. And now that it's like dying, it's a lot clumpier, which is so weird because usually that happens in the beginning. Radiant Glow Illuminating BB Cream. This is a trial size, but I wear this to work, so what I'll do is I'll take a little bit of this, mix in my Neutrogena Visibly Even SPF down here. I'll mix the two on the back of my hand and then apply that to my face, and it kind of just creates juicier BB cream. I mean, you can wear this alone. This does have an SPF of 30, but I like to mix it with a little bit more SPF. These are just drops that you can put into any foundation, into any kind of cream, any kind of face product, mix it in, and voila, you're protected from the sun. This goes a lot of places with me during the summer. I've gotten so many people addicted to this product. This is the Lano Lips Tinted Lip Balm. I believe this is in the shade Perfect Nude. I just, I wish these had an SPF of some sort in them. It's just a beautiful nude lip gloss shade. You can wear it under a mask. You know, if it smudges, it's not going to ruin all of your makeup. It's really, really good. Super hydrating. Two favorite eyeliners at the moment. I have the Marc Jacobs Highliner in the shade Noir, I think. Tardiest Gel Liner on one side and then a liquid liner on the other side. So this is like my go-to grab and go when I'm going somewhere kind of eyeliner because it's two eyeliners in one. my most used drawer. A lot of products that are discontinued, so I'm not gonna spend too, too much time on them. But this is the NARS Survival Kit. Mike got this for me from Nordstrom, like a few years ago at this point. It's discontinued, so I'll just go over it really quick. If you know anything about me, oh God, I love a lot of makeup products. I would say lip liners, lipsticks, and face palettes are probably, oh, and eyeliners. Mm. But I'm addicted to face palettes. I love myself a good multi-purpose palette. Two blushes and two eyeshadows and a nice little mirror. This is the Skin Deep palette, my favorite freaking eyeshadow palette. Oh my God, it's just like your perfect nudes, your perfect basic bitch shades. This is great for brightening. This is amazing for contouring. I use this to contour my nose all the time and it just looks so natural. This was also discontinued. Don't you love that? I feel like NARS is probably my favorite makeup brand, but everything is limited edition, which drives me nuts because it's like, they say it's limited edition and I'm like, okay, I need this. And it totally gets me to buy it. But then I feel like I can't share it with you guys because you can't buy it anymore. Four different blushes down here. You have a contour, a highlighting powder, and a bronzer right here. And that can just be your mirror to like get ready in because it's a decent sized mirror. But again, it's discontinued. But NARS comes out with face palettes like this all the time. So if you're interested, check out their website. NARS Orgasm Blush, which I'm hoping to finish, but it's like a never ending blush, Dolce Vita, which is just so beautiful. You can kind of like sculpt your face with this. Like you can use it as a bronzer, but it really helps to just sculpt your cheekbones. Like even if you don't feel like using a contour or a bronzer, it's just, there's something about this tone that is just so beautiful and really helps to emphasize your cheekbones and just like your facial structures. It's so good. Oh my God. I love NARS guys. Love NARS. Can you not tell how much I love NARS? Pink Peony, you guys have seen me use this so many times. It's so beautiful. Great for blush, great for eyeshadow, all that kind of stuff. Lasts all day long. Same goes for this MAC Glow Play in the shade Cheer Up. These are just some beautiful freaking colors. This is definitely a little bit more spring, summer. This is wearable all year round, um, but they're just really, really beautiful. Such good blushes. No maquillage products in here. Single eyeshadow, News Flash. It's just a really pretty bronzy kind of eyeshadow. I like it. I just, I leave it in here. If I don't know what to put on my eyes, some days when I'm doing one, two, three, I'll just throw this on with a brush or with my fingers. This is my favorite 
favorite everyday eyeshadow palette. Real deal, so freaking pretty. You have a shimmer, a matte, another shimmer, and a dark brown, which this is really all you need to achieve like the perfect eyeshadow look. I love the packaging, it's so chic. You know, like pull this out of your bag and people are like, ooh, what is she using? I love that and I love it. Favorite face palette of all time, and I joke about this pretty often, but people probably look at this and they're like, where did you buy this, at Claire's? No. This is the Real Her Ultimate Glow Getter. I've used her so much. She's like fading. I use her all year round, but I will say I use her the most in summer. You have a blush, a highlighter, a bronzer, A++ for each and every one. I cannot say that I love one of these more than the other. These are so freaking good. Okay, highlighters, which I feel like is a little confusing because I really haven't been wearing a lot of highlighters lately. This is definitely my summer staple. This is the Ciate Dewy Sticks. It's kind of just like Vaseline in see in a little tube so good for the summer just makes your skin look like wet and juicy i'm excited to wear her a little bit more often fenty how many carrots i really need to use this more beautiful highlight there's no color to it it's kind of just like diamonds like shimmery it's really really beautiful i love this i used to wear this on my eyes the most i would just take a little bit of this tap this onto my bare lids with my finger throw on a red lip some mascara and it just made me like glisteny glam without doing the most like i literally did the least and looked so glamorous wet and wild in the shade blossom glow probably my most like disliked section just because I'm really over my foundations and I am extremely over my concealers. If you guys missed my wear test, I will link it up here. This is the Kosas Tinted Face Oil. Really beautiful. I feel like this is going to be my spring and summer staple. Really helps to even out the skin tone and make your skin look really uniform and just delicious. It's so, so good. Check out my wear test though, because you might feel differently, you know? My favorite for the longest time, but I feel like I'm kind of moving on. I want to try something different. I'm kind of over this. This is the NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. This is too dark for me, but yet I continue to wear it because it's just such a good formula. This is the Wander Beauty Noon Illusion Liquid Foundation. This is like too olive for my skin tone and too dark for my skin tone. It'll probably be better in the summer. The texture is really nice. It's very natural looking. It's very light on the skin. You really don't feel it. It does not move into the fine lines of your face. It doesn't go anywhere. It really stays put and it just feels really nice and it's super natural. Definitely more of a natural kind of makeup. I would not recommend beating your face with this, but I really hate that it has a doe foot because you pull it out. I'm not going to pull it out because I'm dressed and I don't want to get this everywhere, but you pull this out and it kind of goes everywhere. Like it goes all over you. So do keep that in mind, but really good. And this product got a lot of awesome reviews online as well. 15th bottle of this and okay, 15 is a little dramatic. Maybe my sixth, which is still a lot. Full coverage moisturizer. I'm in the shade medium. I love this. And I have to say when I wear this, I get the most questions in real life and you know on social media like what is on my face and it's pretty much always this if you're thinking like damn she's having a good skin day chances are it's this bad boy vanish stick foundation i'm almost done with it i just i have not been loving this as much as i used to love it but i need to finish it i usually mix this with another foundation so i'll lay this like all over my face with a stick and then i'll blend it out using another foundation that's just the kind of way that i like to use it l'oreal infallible so freaking good love that it has an spf of 30 and it's full coverage but it's not uncomfortable and it's not cakey really gives the wear of a luxury foundation like it's affordable drugstore, but it's bougie bougie on a budget get yourself this my contours right here I have the Ardell glam touring. I don't use the highlight side I feel like that's pretty obvious because there's a lot of product in there the contour side is my freaking baby I absolutely love this so good and then I have my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood contour wand Which I'm almost done with as well I don't even really want to talk about these because I don't really love any of these Julep cushion complexion morphe fluidity I don't even remember the name of it. I'll put it down below most expensive worst 
concealer I've ever used. The Synchro Skin Concealer sucks, trash, don't use it. It's bunchy, shows all your texture. Not a big fan. My favorite drugstore concealer that I'm also really over, and I really wanna try the Flower Beauty one, but this is the Be Right by Koki Illuminating Concealer. Tarte Shape Tape that just like will not die. It will not die. My Liquid Camouflage Concealer by Catrice. This is a high coverage concealer. I feel like this is bad though, um, but yeah. Is this bad? I don't know. But this was pretty good. Clear and cover. This has an acne treatment in it. So it has 2% salicylic acid. So you put this over top of your acne and it helps cover it up while treating it. This stuff is really good. You know, you're not using it under your eyes. You're using it on your face, but it is really good. And it does help to cure existing pimples. Last but not least, we have like my tool section. Eyelash curler, gotta curl those eyelashes, raise them up to the gods. I have my little hairdresser pins that I use to help clip my hair back so that I don't get makeup in my hair, especially after I washed my hair because we all know that's a process and a process that doesn't happen often enough, but don't wanna ruin the hair when the hair is done. So I clip my hair back with these. Mustache remover, and it doesn't hurt. It's just like a little remover. That's battery packed, you know, I'm Italian. I'm pretty hairy, gotta get rid of all the hair. Well, you don't have to, but you know. Milano Lips 101 ointment. I like to apply this at the beginning of my makeup so that by the time I'm done with my makeup, my lips are nice and hydrated and ready for a lipstick. This is the best pair of tweezers I've ever used. It grips the hair, it pulls it out. It's so freaking good. Such a good effing tweezer. I love these. Anything that needs to be trimmed, these are really good. These are by Billion Dollar Brows as well. Can you see how cute that is? It's a little bird. I don't know if you can see that, but I use these to correct my brows as well. Cut them a little bit when they get a little unruly. Powder puff guy to help set my face. I also throw this in my bag for touch-ups throughout the day. Good to have this. We always need a spoolie. I have a clean Q-tip here. Hair tie, safety pin, I don't freaking know. Sharpener for lip liner or whatever else. have this freaking adorable little cat holder. I think it's a pencil holder, but I put my personal makeup brushes in here. These are my everyday brushes. I did a brush video. I really don't wanna go through all these brushes, so I'll link it up here in case you're interested in my favorite brushes. These are my everyday brushes, and I will link this down below as well because this is from Amazon, this little cute cat guy. And I'm pretty sure that I've shown this to you guys. This is actually um, a lip ashtray. I'll link it down below. I got this on Amazon. I think it was like $12. So amazing. I love this. It's super cute. A lot of these lip products are no longer sold, um, but I'll just run you through some of them really quick. I have my two favorite lip liners at the moment, NYX in the shade London, MAC in the shade Boldly Bear. I have my Kylie Jenner lip gloss in the shade So Cute, my discontinued NARS gloss in the shade Asphalt Jungle. NARS, you did me so dirty when you discontinued this. I really love it. It looks really, really dark, but it kind of just gives your lips like the prettiest sheen to them. I don't love this one as much as I like the other Fenty one, so I just kind of throw him in here. My Oh, here we go. Let's talk about her because she jumped out like she wanted to be talked about. This is NARS in the shade Chelsea Girls Lip Gloss. I'm pretty sure they still sell this. Visanti Lip Oil. This is in the shade Super Mom. This has been in a lot of videos recently. This is just like a vibe. Ooh, look at that. This is really like shiny. I really don't wear this a lot. It's kind of like a cool toned pink. Maybe I should try and wear that. Maybe I will try. Swipe Right. Such a pretty freaking, it's so pretty like a peachy pink lash glue bobby brown number nine lip liner this is what it looks like how freaking cute is that All right, guys, and that is it. That is my vanity. You saw what was in my drawer, what was up top. Those are definitely my most used makeup products because if you think about it, when I sit down, those are the things that I grab for. This is where I get ready every day. So definitely my most used products. I will go ahead and narrow this down. Like I said, I'm gonna curate it to better fit my spring and summer moods very soon. As soon as the weather gets a little bit warmer and my skin is a little bit less dry, I'm definitely gonna swap out a lot of the skincare a lot of the eyeshadow 
palettes too to just be a little bit more brighter more fun more like summery vibes so i know this was a long one which if you made it to the end i appreciate you thank you so much for staying here and do be sure to leave a lipstick emoji down below in the comment section i would love to see how many of you made it to the end if you enjoyed this video make sure to leave it a big thumbs up if you didn't enjoy it leave it a thumbs down but let me know in the comments either why you liked it why you didn't like it and also of course as always let me know what it is you would like to see maybe you'd like to see what is in my makeup drawers my makeup collection down here or maybe you want to see what is in my three tiered makeup cart right here i would love to show them to you guys but can't do that today because we would literally be here for another 45 minutes but i had so much fun again thank you guys so much for joining me make sure that you subscribe and click that bell if you haven't done so yet and i will see you in my next one bye finders Mwah.